friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Saturday, so it's another grocery haul day. This week I went to Walmart and to Trader Joe's. I found some killer deals and a few new products to share with you as well. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know to keep putting out these grocery hauls every single Saturday. If you're new or you're not yet subscribed, of course I'd love to have you. Hit the little subscribe button and of course ring the bell next to it so you don't miss a single video. Down in the description box you're going to find my newly released meal planner. I am pretty close to being sold out of the first batch. So if you're interested in a meal planner, which I highly, highly recommend, I will be sharing how it looks at the end of today's video when we go over my meal plan and meal prep. I would grab it before it's gone. It will be linked down in the description box along with my nutrition coaching website where you can pick up a 30 or 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching session or the meal planner or personalized macros and calories. Let me do all the work and figure out your calories and macros for you so you're most successful on your weight loss journey. You'll also find links and discount codes to my favorite things as well as my Facebook group also down in the description box. So head on over and join us there. So we have have a grocery haul, a meal plan, and a meal prep to go over, so let's jump in. So here's this week's grocery haul. What you don't see is a case of Diet Coke and Coors Light for Troy per the usual every week, but I did find some really good deals this week and some new things. I went to Walmart and to Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna show you the non-food items first and then we'll jump in to all of the food that I picked up for the week. I've been waiting for Bath & Body Works to have a good candle sale and they just haven't in a while. So I thought that while I was at Walmart, I would pick up a few of their candles. I've heard that they have really good throw, really good scents. And some of these fall scents were only a dollar per candle. On the price tag, it was $3.33, but then when I rung them up, they were a dollar. So I picked up quite a few of the Walmart candles, mold cider, which I love anything kind of spicy, and it's still winter here. It is seven degrees today, so it is perfect timing to still have some winter candles. This one rang up as a dollar. Apple cider donuts, this smells delicious. This one was $3.33. Cozy Gathering, this one actually rung up as a dollar as well. And Fall Farmhouse also rung up as a dollar. So you can't beat that at all. This Coastal Coconut from Great Value smells incredible. This one was $4.97, which is still cheaper than you can get Bath & Body Works candles on, when they're on a really, really good sale. So I grabbed that. I thought that I would give these a try, see what I think as far as how the scent throws and lasts. I couldn't pass up $2 for this Bergamot and Sage. These are the little wax cubes for the warmers. This smells so good. For $4.88, I picked this up based on something I saw on TikTok. This is one of those ponytail holders with the scarf that hangs down. I thought it was really cute and for less than $5, I thought it would be fun to wear to jazzercise or if I just put my hair up for the day, it would give it that nice cute kind of fun look. And Trader Joe's had their daffodils, $1.79 per bunch. So I went ahead and picked up two bunches. I'm going to put these in a pretty vase on my island. They just remind me of spring, and when it's this cold, I need all the spring I can get. They were $1.79 per bundle, so less than $4 for two bundles. That's everything for the non-food items. So the grocery portion, eggs, of course, whenever I go to Walmart, I do like to get the organic pasture-raised happy eggs. These are the best eggs pretty much ever, and they're the most affordable at Walmart. I also stocked up on ground beef. I picked up the three-pack of the 93.7 organic grass-fed grass-finished beef. I rave about this. It's my very favorite ground beef. It's so good and it's less than $18 for three pounds, which is really good for organic grass-fed grass-finished. And then I did pick up a couple packs of just the traditional 96%. Sometimes I like a leaner ground beef for a recipe if the recipe is fairly high in point. So I picked up two pounds of that. Sourdough bread for Troy sandwiches this next week. He's gonna still do the Canadian bacon and cheese. We sell quite a bit of Canadian bacon because I bought that big pack at Costco. So he's just gonna continue with those sandwiches this next week. I did buy the savory thin 
crackers from Trader Joe's. I wanted something to dip in that spinach and artichoke dip from Costco. And I didn't want to do chips because they're so high in points and calories for a little amount. These crackers, you can have 16 of them for 130 calories and the points here on the screen. So I thought these would be great to dip in that spinach and artichoke dip. Two bottles of kombucha. I still have some left over from last week. I did order in my Thrive order as well as in Perfect Foods. So I did stock up on my kombucha, but I did pick up two of the Synergy Pure Love Winter Edition. $2.97 a bottle at Walmart, which is really the cheapest you're going to find. And this blood orange hibiscus and rose one is so good. I don't usually do sugar-free anything, but I have been hearing more and more about these sugar-free jello cups as a great low-calorie snack. There are five calories per cup. I wouldn't eat them all the time because of them being sugar-free and artificially flavored, but I thought on a whim, if I need something sweet and don't have points or calories left, I thought that this would come in handy. So I did decide just to get the four pack. These will probably last me quite a while because I don't see eating these on a regular basis. Barley for meal prep. I actually wanted regular barley, but all Walmart had was quick barley. And the recipe I'm making is a slow cooker recipe. So I hope that the quick part of this barley doesn't impact that recipe. But I even looked at Trader Joe's and they didn't have any barley at all. I wanted a couple of sweet treats for the week so of course at Trader Joe's the partake cookies the birthday cake ones are still there I love these cookies three cookies 150 calories or two points per cookie which is not bad at all and they're so good these are also gluten-free and vegan for my gluten-free and vegan friends out there but these are delicious, and like I mentioned before, they're a dollar less per box, and the chocolate chip ones are a dollar fifty less per box than at Target. Sliced baby Swiss for Troy sandwiches. We were out of sliced cheese, and I thought this would pair nicely with the Canadian bacon. And then, of course, I picked up another bag of the Trader Joe's light shredded three cheese blend, which is my favorite light shredded cheese. A little baby can of no salt added tomato sauce for a dinner recipe. Fat free evaporated milk for a recipe. Green beans for Diesel and Lola. They have one can left and that doesn't usually last an entire week. And I did restock my vanilla extract from Trader Joe's. This one is a great price. $9 for four ounces of pure vanilla extract is an excellent price. I saw these at Walmart as I was walking by and I had to pick them up. I have never tried the sweet and salty kettle corn pop corners. I like these because there's only four ingredients. So they're a pretty good option. And I thought this would also cure that crunchy and sweet. So let me know down in the comments if you guys have tried the kettle corn and what you thought of it. Organic beef broth. This is for a dinner recipe. And I did want to try this. Like I mentioned, I'm not big on sugar-free, but I have heard really good things about this creamer. This is the Zero Sugar Caramel Macchiato from International Delight. I have to try this. Just to compare it to the Coffee Mate Italian Sweet Cream, that sugar-free I picked up, I don't like it at all. I think I've really just developed a taste to not like the sugar-free creamer, but I've heard that this doesn't taste sugar-free. So I thought I would try it. It's 20 calories per serving. Again, I'll let you guys know what I think of it, but my opinion on the Coffee Mate sugar-free is I no longer like it. I did finish my container, but it's definitely, definitely not my favorite. Sour cream because we are completely out and I wanted to have some on hand. And then I did decide to go ahead and pick up a couple of the full fat Siggy's yogurts. I really like this 4% vanilla. These are really delicious. They're thick and creamy and they have excellent ingredients. They are five smart points, but I will take the points just because the ingredients and the fact that they're full fat. So all of their nutrients are intact. Another sweet treat for the week, chocolate chip cocoa meringues. It has been a minute since I bought the meringues at Trader Joe's. So I picked up the chocolate ones. I like these because they have little chocolate chips in them. So they're really delicious. Three of them is 90 calories. Light butter for Troy. This is the butter he prefers to use. And this big tub is less than $6, which is a really good price because that little tub is generally over $3. New from Bubbly is the Bubbly Bounce. I don't usually buy this sparkling water because it has natural flavors, but I wanted to try it. This is the Grapefruit Blood Orange and it has caffeine in it. 35 milligrams of caffeine per can, no calories, no sweetener. So same as the regular Bubbly, but caffeinated. And this Grapefruit Blood Orange flavor sounds so good. So I'll definitely let you you guys know how I feel about this. They had several flavors, about five of the Bubbly Bounce caffeinated water. And then I did pick up some Mediterranean crumbled feta cheese. This is the full fat feta. I wanted the Mediterranean in it for salads. This is my cheese of choice to put on salads. It's so 
so delicious and I've never tried the Mediterranean one. Everything else is produce. So a pack of organic blackberries. This is for meal prep. Lots of mushrooms. I did pick up the organic full cremini mushrooms and the sliced cremini mushrooms. I needed sliced for a recipe and then whole for a recipe. Limes and lemons for my water. I also need a couple of lemons for some dinner recipes. And you guys know I like to put fresh lemons and limes in my water. Some organic gala apples. This is for a recipe and then of course for snacking. Celery, I have been on a celery and peanut butter kick and I've been making ants on a log where I'm putting some raisins. I don't know, it's bringing me back to my childhood, but I've been really liking celery lately and I also need it for a couple recipes, so I picked that up. Some frozen veggies. Trader Joe's did not have a mixed vegetable, which I need for a dinner recipe, so I did this soy catash. And this is sweet corn, edamame, red bell pepper. So it doesn't have carrots in it, but it's close enough to a mixed vegetable. Some frozen organic peas for a recipe frozen organic corn, and organic wild blueberries, also for a meal prep recipe. And I like these wild ones because they're small. They're just the cutest little blueberries, and they're super, super sweet. And lastly, fresh parsley for a couple of recipes. So that is this week's grocery haul. Let's get into what I'm doing for meal prep and what's on my plan for meals for the week. So here is my meal planner. I absolutely love it. It has an entire year's worth of meal planning, as well as a note section for your favorite recipes, YouTube videos, blogs. I just love everything about it. So definitely pick this up before it's gone. You can see there's a menu and a grocery list for every week. So this is the week of 12, 13 through 12, 19. So Saturday we'll do an out to dinner, kind of fun pizza night or something like that. Sunday, even though it's Valentine's Day, we're just gonna have a regular on track day. My husband works Sunday, so we're not gonna do anything too exciting, but we're gonna do a chicken pot pie pasta. Monday is copycat Alice spring chicken. This is from Outback Steakhouse. So this is a copycat recipe for that, which sounds amazing. Tuesday, I go to Jazzercise at night. So it's a leftover night. Wednesday, we're doing meatballs in barbecue sauce, kind of some comfort food. I have a new barbecue sauce from Primal Kitchen that I want to try. And then Thursday, I'm going to do an instant pot recipe. We are going to make shrimp risotto. I'm obsessed with risotto and shrimp is so low point, low calorie that I thought it would make the perfect pairing with a more high calorie, high point dish like risotto. So I'm excited for that. And then Friday will be a leftover night as well so that we can finish up all of the meals from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep video. So for breakfast this week, I'm making a blueberry sweet roll. So we're making a cinnamon roll with blueberries. This is going to be so incredibly delicious. We'll pair this with some protein so we have a well-rounded breakfast. Lunch is slow cooker beef and barley soup. That is why I needed to pick up the barley and I'm hoping that the quick barley does not affect the recipe. And then for dessert, I'm making an Appleberry Brown Betty. I love Brown Betty and it has been a long time. So I made this recipe into a WW and calorie friendly recipe. So stay tuned on Monday for all three of these recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Grocery Haul. That candle price at Walmart was insane. If you have a Walmart in your area, grab those fall or winter scented candles before they are gone. Lots of good stuff at Trader Joe's and the daffodils just bring spring into my house, which makes me so happy. So if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you're watching and you're not subscribed, join my community. I'd love to have you hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it. So you're notified whenever videos are uploaded. Don't forget that Saturday is always grocery haul day. Down in the description box is the meal planner, my nutrition coaching website, my Facebook group, and links and discounts to my favorite things. So check that out before you go. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.